this is Lori here with Luna Reina. I am opening up the Harry Potter Magical Meditation Cards, 64 inspirational cards and a booklet. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan and I couldn't pass this up. I've been wanting to do a run through of this for a while, especially as it's spooky season. And I'm just so excited to go through it. So I kind of got started on the plastic just to um, do a first impressions. So I'll go ahead and just open that up or take this off here. I purchased this deck at Joanne's Fabric. <laughs> it's kind of neat that I'm finding decks at places like fabric stores and it's just really kind of become more popular it seems over the past few years which I I don't mind. I don't mind. So here's the box. It has Hedwig here on the front cover and it looks like there's an outline of Hogwarts in the background there. Just kind of do a little view of the box. Maybe I can turn it Insight Editions. Oh. <laughs> Includes a 64 card deck and accompanying booklet. Embrace the knowledge of the wizarding world with the inspirational card deck featuring different meditative prompts to help you Connect to the powerful themes and positive. Hmm. Okay. Let's... <laughs> okay, so here's the inside of the box. It's like a peach. Color. That's really pretty. And it looks like the cards come in a little bag. That's so pretty. With Hogwarts outlined. Here's the back. Wow. That's really nice. I'll just put this aside just for a minute. And this looks like the Magical Meditations booklet. Table of Contents. There's some just there's all kinds of information in here. Some pictures from the movie. Under introduction, it says, based on the poignant messages of the Harry Potter films, 
this guided deck includes 64 meditation prompts designed to provoke conversations with yourself on a wide range of topics. Inspire joy with thoughtful prompts like what memory would you use to conjure your Patronus? Stimulate your imagination with fun questions like if you were an animagus, what animal do you think you would turn into? Or push yourself out of your comfort zone with more serious prompts such as today take an action big or small to combat prejudice in the world designed as a companion to the cards the guidebook is divided into eight chapters based on eight themes of the deck identity relationships values and beliefs Battling your fears, personal growth, experiencing loss, resistance, and flights of fancy. Each chapter includes the prompts featured on the cards, as well as fun and interesting behind-the-scenes facts, concept art, and film stills to help you go deeper into the making of the Harry Potter films. No matter where you are in your journey, this inspirational deck and guidebook will help you summon courage, expel fear, and find a light in the dark. Wow. Okay, so I think this deck could be used in a lot of different ways. I wasn't quite sure, you know, what type of deck it was going to be, but here are the different um, sections. I think that's going to be really neat. It'll be neat to see how this will work with other decks or just on its own. Okay, so I'm going to take these out of the bag. I'm kind of doing a lot of things one-handed here because I'm holding the phone with my other, which is probably not the most convenient way to do things. I have a stand, but I just, I don't know. Sometimes I don't like the angles and the glare. I really need to get another setup here. Okay, I took the little plastic um, piece that was holding these cards together. So, Flight of Fancy. They're nice. They're thinner cards, you know, so I don't, I don't know how they're really going to shuffle. So it looks like when you turn it around, Felix Felicis, also known as Liquid Luck, is a highly advanced potion, and it goes on to talk about that uh, and um, on the bottom it has a question if you could take a dose of Felix Felices how would you use your run of good luck what would you do so this is really interesting so I imagine this is so this is one of the, so these are all questions and I don't, I don't think I'll read them all out, but they all talk about a different 
item uh, in the story, the wizards. The Sorcerer's Stone. So these could be used in a lot of fun ways. The Triwizard Tournament. So these are... They're all different parts of the stories in Animagus. I don't want to, you know, read every single card. I mean, it would be fun to do. If you could take Polyjuice Potion, who would you turn into? What about that person or their life would you like to experience? <laughs> oh, this is going to be so neat. I'm just thinking how... Would this be fun to um, implement into a reading, you know? I think a lot of creative things could be done with this resistance. So, there's some questions here. So this is different. I wasn't sure what these were going to be a lot, you know, be like experiencing loss. Hmm. It has the ring on the back here. talks about loss. Sometimes loss is so profound that it has the power to reshape our lives. Have you experienced a loss like this or do you know someone who has? Did it change things for the better or the worse? So this is the experiencing loss. Here's the cards. Wow. Personal growth. The time turner that Hermione wore. An example here is what obstacles have you overcome in your life and how did they shape your growth? And then here's, I don't belong here. I belong in your world at Hogwarts, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I just keep saying wow. <laughs> I think it's going to be kind of fun maybe to do uh, inner, inner work, you know, shadow work to really delve in. I think these would be really good for that and other types of things like working on the self. Battling our fears. Do you have your own personal werewolf that you struggle with? Do you feel that your attitude toward it is justified? Or like Professor Lupin, could you be letting fear hold you back from living your full life? Oh wow, that's very provoking. So here's the battling our fears and values and beliefs. There's Fox. I've always wanted my own Phoenix. 
while we may, sorry, while we may come from different places and speak in different tongues, our hearts beat as one. Professor Dumbledore. It describes the value of extending a friendly hand to people whose backgrounds and perspectives are different from yours. Think, think about some ways in your own life that you can honor diversity and practice inclusion. Wow. These would be really good for like a daily a daily draw, maybe along with another card, like, you know, a tarot. Wow. <laughs> I just keep saying, wow. <laughs> it's really neat. I, I, I think this is going to be neat. Relationships with Hedwig. Think about the people. I'm trying to not have so much glare. Think about the people who've mentored you in your life. What was it about those people that helped you have confidence in them? Were they able to live up to your trust in them? Wow, really good questions. It'd be nice to read every single one, but we'd be here all, all evening. <laughs> Identity. Oh, the starting hat. I am in Ravenclaw. Anyone else? A Ravenclaw? I love all the houses. It's so neat. See? It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. I think this is going to be really a uh, good to work with. Which Hogwarts house do you feel the least affinity with? What do you think that says about you? <laughs> well, I will just share that I think I have the least affinity with Slytherin. I don't think I'm quite as cunning um, as some that are in that house. I definitely don't think that's a bad thing because sometimes this world is kind of tough <laughs> and you need that. But I think we all have our own strengths that we um, share with the world. Okay, well, that is the quick little go through of the magical meditations. That was kind of fun. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.